What's up YouTube? Uh, Matt here. So I'm sure you've seen I bought the Medium Ripper and also tried out Wade's on the Koei. Before I bought it but I wanted to buy one just to outfit it and get it right for me and give it a full review. Um, so I was able to paddle on the upper yacht just like the small. Actually when I was looking at these two it's pretty interesting. The small looks longer. I don't know if y'all can tell from the video. It actually looks longer and the small is listed at 8, 11 and the medium at 9 foot. And I measured them with the tape measure, and the small, is, the medium is about 107 and a quarter inch, and the small is about 109. So the small is actually longer than the medium, surprisingly. And you can tell by the the video here too, the tail sticks out definitely like an inch or so longer, which, like I said, is interesting since the small is actually listed as shorter. You can tell the medium's got some more bow rocker there. Um, looks like about an inch or inchish more. And the other thing I notice here on the bow is the small has a much sharper kind of cut off on both sides of the little edge wedge right there, where the medium is more kind of flat. Obviously, there's more volume in the medium, so that makes sense. But it's just something else to point out on the stern. Definitely more volume in the stern on the medium. You can see that bubble there and it makes a huge difference going down river. I don't really feel any stern grab in the medium where this is definitely a little more spicy and I get grabbed more and kind of get wheelie and stuff like that. You can see here on the stern, the small looks to be, I didn't measure this. I can get a tape measure here, but just on looks alone, the small looks to be about an inch less width down here. It's more rounded off kind of. And the medium is obviously longer. Cockpit, you can see the cockpit on the medium comes up more. But the actual length of the cockpit, the small is actually slightly longer. And that's just noticeable by the skirt too. I haven't actually measured that, but it's definitely longer by the skirt and cockpit covers that I use. It's harder to put on and stretches more out. Now seating wise, the small is definitely more narrow seating. Obviously it's 23 inches wide here. We're 24.5 here. And I don't really have to use the hooker thigh hooks in the small where I have them in the medium. I definitely need them. I definitely need them. And then here I think I have two, let's see. One, two. Yeah, two pads on each side in addition to the normal pad. And then I actually think I need to move the foot back one. It was a little tight yesterday. It kind of hurt my legs. But right now it's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think I put them on seven. I'd be straight with shoes on. My back was kind of hurting. And then I got one, two, three pads in there where the small, I have, I have three pads in the small as well. So seating wise, still got three pads and three pads here. You can see definitely the more the the bow has more volume in the medium. Obviously it should, it's medium. But it's not that much bigger of a boat really. But down river performance, you can definitely tell the medium is just easier to get down river, punches through everything where the small for my weight. Again, it's not bad, like a strong class four or class five I'd be fine on. But definitely if I'm over that, I'd want the medium. But play-wise, this is way easier to get down. I can pretty much whip it in an eddy and get it vertical, get it vertical in a weak eddy line where this, I really struggled yesterday in the seat position I have in the middle on both boats. But when I paddled wades, it was in the back and I could get it vertical. Definitely way easier than in the middle. I did not, I could not get this vertical yesterday all the way vertical when the seat position was in the middle. And I also have the seat raised. I don't know how much that makes a difference either. But definitely play-wise, the small is, is definitely easier to get vertical. Now surfing, the medium feels a lot better. It's got a little more bow rocker. Um, it doesn't sub out as much in the front. I mean, everything else is pretty much the same as far as outfitting, grab handles, same color. I kind of wanted to do that to give you a nice comparison. Let's measure the stern here and see. The medium is roughly five inches on the stern. 
and the small is roughly three and three quarters so almost an inch and a half uh, more on the stern and that definitely makes a difference when trying to get this thing vertical this thing i can sink in easy and this this you kind of kind of overcome this and that extra volume right here you can see the extra volume right behind the hips major difference there major difference it's almost probably an inch inch more of volume right behind the hips for some of my size again it's difficult to overcome but it's not impossible and i'm not the best stern squirt out there someone with really good technique probably wouldn't have any issue at all but yeah i'll flip them over here see the difference all right here's the bottoms of the boats very similar edge of course it's the same boat you kind of see the difference in the tail again small is thinner this is small by the way medium just in case you couldn't figure it out again the cockpit height you can tell when the boats are flipped upside down i'm not going to go over again the boats if you want an awesome review on the actual ripper in detail walk through wade harrison i'll try to put the link up here if i can figure it out Okay, so I stand corrected on the bow rocker. They actually have both the same amount of bow rocker. I don't know if there's the illusion being up on the stands or because the cockpit's a little higher that it makes it seem like that. I'm not sure, but when I actually measure them on the ground, they're exactly the same. Check this out. So sorry for all those comments. But yeah, about 11, 11 ish, 11 and a quarter, whatever you want to call it. And then the same on this one now the stern does actually have the medium does have more stern rocker so that's about eight inches i would say right at eight inches and this is like right at seven so stern is different the stern the medium has more stern rocker so apologize for all the other comments but gosh when you look at them on the stand i'm sure you can tell from the video it definitely looked like the medium had more rocker but when you look at them on the ground like this Bam, exactly the same. Crazy. Eyes were playing tricks on me. Give you a full walk around here while they're on the ground. All right, so if you're around my weight, 135, 140, and you love the Ripper, but you're not sure you should get a small or medium, which one should you get? So if you're planning on pretty much paddling, you know, a low class five, strong class four and below, and you like to be able to stern squirt pretty easily and play and stuff like that, I think the small is your best bet. It's a lot easier to stern squirt for my weight. Now, if you're running one, if you're wanting to run more creek style and big water and you're not too concerned about stern squirts but you can you know with some effort in the seat bag you can get a vertical i would say go with the medium if you got money go both if you like the ripper that much i'm probably gonna keep both of them i really like both of them and they suit stuff for me for better different things if you're probably around 160 i'd say go with the medium for sure small you could paddle but it would definitely you'd be getting back entered a lot um, unless you had the seat like all the way forward, but some people like the seat back to paddle. As far as again downriver, my weight the the small is a little more spicy per se on bigger water. You you will get back in it a little bit or get it catch a wheelie and kind of get you offline a little bit. And but I do like the small in the fact that it's so narrow you can like get through any little small crack or a slot in a rock where the medium is 24 and a half which it still isn't a wide boat by any means but you just have a little more nimbleness in the small i guess you'd say now the medium boosts extremely well for my weight i was catching some massive boosts yesterday on the upper yacht when compared to paddling on the small just because i can't i don't get the speed up like the small and i'm not above the water like i am in the medium um, let's see what else surfing again front surfing the medium's a little better more volume kind of out of the water a little more where the the small tends to sub on me in the front and the bow dip and rolling they're pretty much the same 
and then the medium you're going to outfit a little more or the small you don't have to so much so it's kind of whatever your preference is again if you're more of that class five plus boater go with the medium around my size if you're sticking to some smaller stuff class four ish i'd say go with the small for my size but if you're 160 and above i say go for the medium anyway that's it on the small versus medium ripper comparison